since we're gonna be meeting up with Aida, host of Food Crafters, with just total like food obsessed like I am, and we're gonna go find some good stuff. Dreams of paper and a north wind in a bed beside the coast. It's in the morning, bright and early. Good early morning, morning, huh? Yeah, we're we're the early birds. I love it. So we're gonna be picking out your your favorite goodies for our entertaining tasting box. I just love how I get to pick all my favorite flavors and get them into one fabulous little basket. Fairy building for me is such a special place. San Francisco is kind of my second home, and there's so many great artisans here. But right now, I kind of need a cup of coffee because it's early. <laughs> so why don't we start at Blue Bottle and okay. then we can go from there? Sounds good. Blue Bottle represents I don't know Bay Area coffee. We've been here almost 10 years, and we're picking Blue Bottle for the Foodsy Tasting Box. Blue Bottle was uh, founded by James Freeman. He started off in uh, Oakland uh, to Miss Call Farmer's Market. A little small, little setup. You know, we're looking for something for entertaining. Yes. Um, I was thinking three Africans. Three Africans is a three bean blend from Ethiopia, Sadamo, and Uganda. It's done in a medium roast style. Okay, cool. So we'll do some three Africans for the tasting box, the two drips, and I, I think that's it. Let's try this out for our West Fungi. With everything from the wild, just kind of an assortment of different foods. What's great about this place is they kind of like forage everything for you, and I'd like to think that I'm really awesome at mushroom foraging, but I fear I might kill myself doing it, so I can just come here. And it's foraging within the fairy plaza. <laughs> Hello. Ooh, huckleberries. Well, we started here in San Francisco, and our farm was over at Hunter's Point Shipyard. We need something for the entertaining thing. That's what we're trying to put into the tasting box. Okay. So. These are domestic porcinis out of Mendocino County. Okay. Bold flavor, really nutty. Soak it for about 15 minutes and it's ready to go. That sounds great. Sounds great. All right. Here into we, uh... the tasting box. Thank you. So, where are you taking me next on this food uh, adventure? A little McAvoy. You know, they have all those really great Italian varieties of olives. Yeah. I'm totally a sucker for those. As you know, I'm already a huge fan of your olive oil. Let's just do a quick taste of the oil. This is our traditional blend. It's a blend of six Italian varietals. It's all estate grown in Produce, about 35 miles north, just outside of Petaluma. For entertaining purposes, mm. I think you should uh, get a jar of our Tuscan table olive. That is really nice. It is. Nice skip. I think for entertaining, definitely, we'll take the olives. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming in. <laughs> I need something a little sweet. Where, where are we going to go? Let's check out La Cocina. Okay. They have all those great food entrepreneurs there. You know, it's like an incubator kitchen, and they really help start up great businesses. If you have the Claire Squares. Oh my god. Right? The shortbread. So Oh my God, Hi. Hi. Yes, my favorite. How's it good going? To see you. It's good to see you too. We're looking for something for an entertaining tasting box for Foods Aid. Something sweet. That little square is like waiting for us, calling our name. Would you like to try a sample? So this is a dark chocolate Claire Square. It's got a buttery shortbread base, creamy caramel center, and rich dark Belgian chocolate topping. Cuts really nicely. If you want to use it for entertainment, you can cut a big square up in six pieces. That is amazing. It's like so crumbly, perfect caramel. Mm. Nice ratio of caramel to short. Cheers. <laughs> I say we do dark chocolate from the tasting box. Yeah. Okay, great. Fabulous. Almonds, dark chocolate. Thank you. Paramount at giving everybody the samples. I love it. Tell us about the, where it all started. The farm was started by my grandfather almost 100 years now. There are many varieties of almonds. And I bring to my farmer's markets the, the best of the best. Can we grab one of the dark chocolates then? Sure. Okay. Right into our magic basket right. of tasty goodies. Yeah. Yeah. Mushrooms, toffee. We have the olives. You know what we need is something um, preserved, kind of like um, a good jam or chutney. We check out Happy Girl. Get our jam on. Welcome to Happy Girl. We have an amazing plum jam. Okay. Um, all of our jams are low in sugar, so right. there's about 20% sugar to 80% fruit. It's all organic. We use like over a dozen different local farms all over the Bay Area. So I think this is it. It's a Thank good like gateway preserve, right? It is. It's the gateway. <laughs> Well, thank you so much. Thanks. I just feel so lucky just like looking at all these producers and... I know, we're really fortunate. I mean, people, people think that we're just kind of professional eaters, but... Um, <laughs> In some ways, a little bit, Yeah, but we are, but yes. I think that for me it's all about being able to get the word out about these people who are doing amazing things with food. As an entrepreneur, when I get to work with all these small producers, you know, that are starting their own food companies, I love the passion. And I'm a giant I say we crack into the plunging. Okay, picnic on the bench. 
That's the style. There's a couple other things we could tear into, mm -hmm. but restraint. You restrain, you mean to exercise and consult control. I've been working on a farm, picking up potatoes, storing them in silos, waiting for the end.